So before we get started, all of my texturing buddies, my UV friends over here, I've come up with a new brand new, really good idea. It's a completely free product and it kind of exploded yesterday. So I just want to share it with you guys. It's called the 3D Artist Coloring Book, completely donation based book. So um, pay whatever you feel like it's worth. Now, the 3D Artist Coloring Book is a project aimed at creating a library of assets that beginner to intermediate artists can use to practice and sharpen their texturing skills in Substance Painter or any other texturing software. So I will leave a link in the description. So go grab it today. So Substance Painter new auto unwrap function is finally available. So what I wanted to do is two things. I wanted to show you guys quickly how it's done. So I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on that. And I also wanted to test it out on some simple, maybe medium complexity and then extremely complex um, objects. And we're going to see just how good it is. So let's go ahead, let's just do it. So the basic idea of how this is going to work is that if Substance Painter detects an object that doesn't have any UV information, it's going to try and automati automatically unwrap it for you. So I've got this default Cuban Blender here, and you can do this in any 3D software. And we're going to export as, let's export as OBJ. And with Blender, just make sure two things. Selection only is selected, and include UVs is turned off. So this is also really handy if you have an object that you've textured or that you've unwrapped in the past that you want to test it out with Substance Painter, the automatic unwrap. So just make sure that the include UVs is unselected as well. So let's export this OBJ. Go to my desktop, Blender, and let's just export it as the cube.obj. I'm going to overwrite this one. And that's pretty much it. So now we can go into Substance Painter, make sure you have the latest version, and we can press new and just create a brand new file. So once we import this, it's gonna automatically unwrap it for us. So let's take a look. And it's done just like that. So you can see it's done a perfect unwrap of a cube and it's imported the cube, no problem. So you don't even have to worry about that. You can just go right ahead, bake your mesh maps, which is also improved and much faster now. And we can pop a smart material on there right away. I'm gonna be using Brass Old as our test because it gives me, um, it's got a lot of texture on it so you can tell how well it works. So look just like that, already unwrapped. Seams look, Pretty good, that's a st very standard unwrap. For our next test, we've got our medium complexity object. This is just a low poly table I made in Blender a while back. And it's also got three texture sets that are gonna be created. So what I did is I pressed E and cleared the seams and I pressed U to reset the UVs as well, just to make sure they're definitely gone. So when this is selected, export as OBJ, selection only, and make sure the include UVs is turned off and then table.obj. Let's export it and let's open Substance Painter again. And let's try it. Let's see what happens here. Table and export. Awesome. So it looked like it did an okay job. Um, you may be confused at first because there's three texture sets. So this is the Iron Bands texture set here. And then the nails are circular, so that looks great. And then the wood itself also looks fantastic. That's actually not bad at all. Um, it's not straightened out or anything. Um, so if you're hand painting, that might be might not be perfect, but let's go ahead and bake all of our mesh maps and see how it looks. So we've got all of our mesh, um, all of our, our, our maps baked in. And let's go to a smart material and see what it looks like. I'll use the brass one here for the wood. And it doesn't look terrible, honestly. There's a bit of seam that's a little off here, but that might just be my modeling itself. Clean seams. I gotta say that looks pretty good. Let's pop some, let's pop some wood on there. So not bad at all, really good.
Okay, so medium complexity object. Uh, let's give it an A. It's not perfect, obviously, but what do you expect with auto stuff? So let's move on to the super complex object. Okay, so moving on to this one, I'm gonna make this a little quicker because you guys get it now. This is a very high poly mesh um, with only a single texture set. So let's make sure it's all selected and export as OBJ, selection only, and UVs are turned off. And let's pop it into here. And let's pop it in as hp.obj, and we'll export that. And now this is the big test. So let's start a new file and see how well this guy unwraps. And that was this one just done now. So this UV set is complicated enough that you can actually finally see the processing done. Um, with the two other ones I did, they were actually very low poly, so the automatic UV unwrapping is almost instant. That took about three minutes, um, give or take, and not terrible considering that is, let's see, about, um, about 145,000 or 300,000 tries. So not terrible. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it's unwrapped. Oh, that's pretty clean. So that's good. Obviously, um, they don't do much straightening, but that looks really, really good. So let's go ahead and bake everything. And I love how much quicker that is now. And let's pop on a smart material so you can see how it looks. That's pretty good. Let's use a different one. Let's use the brass old. So there's a seam here that wasn't perfect, but that's my fault because this whole face was a bunch of N-Gons and was textured or was modeled really poorly, poorly on my part. So that's fine. Seams look great, honestly, minus this one. And the base, nice circular. They've done, they've done it there pretty well. They've hidden the seams. It looks really good. Let's go to the full view. Okay, so that's it guys. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how it works and how to do it yourself. Um, I really, really think that's actually a really huge step in, in the right direction. So it'd be really cool if, you know, you just quickly made a model and you wanna unwrap it real quick and you get actually really, really good results with this. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.